of F48 First Alert Weather Day. Sponsored by Mr. Electric, your area expert for home generac generators. And tomorrow, your Tuesday is a first alert weather day. We declared that Wednesday morning of last week. So this strong system shouldn't come as a real shock to anyone. We've been talking about it for almost a week now, and it's going to bring some pretty big impacts as far as the event duration too. This is a long term event. Unlike when we typically get those severe weather events, they're usually about six hours for start to finish. Well, in this case, we're talking this afternoon all the way through late Tuesday night. In fact, that wind advisory has just been extended. It was supposed to go through six o'clock tomorrow. Now it goes all the way through midnight Tuesday night into Wednesday morning for the duration of those wind gusts, potentially over 50 miles per hour and 50 plus mile per hour winds plus heavy rain, saturated soils. You get some loose tree roots and that could topple some trees, which unfortunately often fall on power lines. Take a moment early in the day today, maybe leave work at some point, go on a lunch break. Take a look at the back and front yard of your home. Secure those loose outdoor items. Also with an inch and a half to maybe up to three inches of rainfall, we do have concerns of seeing some flooding. Could be flash flooding, urban flooding, roadway flooding, creeks, streams and rivers potentially reaching the higher side things. So we'll really be keeping an eye on that as a lot of this rain comes in a short amount of time. This is this afternoon overcast skies, temperatures in the low to mid 50s. We'll start to notice that wind ramping up. The wind advisory starts at three this afternoon wind gusts probably 35 to 40 miles per hour. Then those wind gusts really start to pick up late this evening and here comes that heavy rainfall moderate to heavy rain. We're not talking about severe storms. The wind gusts will just be general gradient winds because of the isobars being so tight together. You get that tight pressure graded. Severe weather threat well off to our south along the Gulf Coast. Places like Mobile. This could be a long evening for them regarding a severe weather threat. We're just dealing with this very heavy rainfall and unfortunately a lot of the very heavy rain is likely going to be coming down during that Tuesday morning commute to work and school. With the heavy rain, puddles will likely form on the roadways. Just plan on some extra time out the door tomorrow. Now, as temperatures start to fall here tomorrow evening, we might even see a wintry mix or even some light snow showers. But with ground temperatures, road temperatures, soil temperatures all above freezing, we're not expecting any impacts from that. Wind gust 4 o'clock, right around 30 miles per hour. And that's nothing because these winds really start to ramp up. In fact, you'd see some of these 50 mile per hour wind gusts forecast, especially into the higher elevations of northeast Alabama toward the Cumberland Plateau, Sand Mountain. You guys are a little more likely to potentially see some power outages, but when you can charge those mobile devices, first alert weather day tomorrow. We've got another strong system coming in on Friday and we're putting out that early first alert.